Okay, so here are some nonfiction animal books. I know a lot of you like animal books and animal stories, so um, here are some that you could maybe put on hold or try out. So we have City Chickens by Christine Hepperman, which is about a chicken rescue outside of Minneapolis. The Chicken Run Rescue helps homeless chickens have a home until they can be adopted. If you've ever wondered about animal rescues or are interested in chickens, this is a great choice. The next one is How to Swallow a Pig by Steve Jenkins. And that tells you all about how animals survive in the wild. If you've ever wondered how animals find food and shelter and what it can teach you, this is a great book to read. Then we have Stubby the War Dog by Ann Balsam. It's about an American soldier, J. Robert Conroy, who befriended a stray dog and then smuggled him to the Western Front of World War II. Students that like books about dogs, war, or friendship should check this one out. It's a Dog Life by It's a Dog's Life by Susan Goodman has a dog narrate information about why dogs do things. So if you've ever wondered why your dog is doing things a certain way, this would be a great book to read to get to the bottom of some of those mysteries. The next one is Wild Horse Annie by Tracy Fern, which is about women, a woman who worked really hard to save wild mustangs. And if you like horses or stories about people helping animals, this is a great choice. Sea Biscuit by Megan McCarthy is about a racehorse that had a famous grandfather, but he was not winning races himself. When he gets a new owner and trainer, he starts winning races, but can he beat the most famous horse of the day? Anyone that likes a good underdog story or books about animals or horses should check this one out. Then our final row on this one, and there will also be one for animal stories that are fiction. These are all non-fiction, so these are all about true stories that have happened or have real facts in them. A Horse in the House by Gail Ablo features various unusual animal stories from all over the world. If you like funny and unusual stories, especially about animals, this is a great choice for you. Big Cats by Sarah Walker is a clear book all about lions and tigers, as well as other big cats. Students that are interested in wild animals should check this out. Wild Animal Atlas by National Geographic Kids is a book that will let you know where an animal lives and what habitat is like for that animal, as well as giving you information about the various animals. Students that like a large variety of information on animals should check this one out. And then Roar by Stephanie Warren Drimmer focuses on fun facts about animals that live in Africa. Students that love fun facts or information about wild animals of all types should check this one out. Also in classroom, you can find the database that we have pebble go animals so if you're just looking for animal information that is also a great resource and also in the classroom you can find some information about um, ebooks and we have some ebooks that you can access that are also about animals